What's up everybody, Personified here, and today I'm a bit late on it, although it did happen yesterday, I was un unable to uh, watch it live, so I'm not able to give you my, my best reaction, although it's pretty amazing, knowing that uh, our the new series that will be coming out, the original series for Grand Cross is called Ragnarok, and... And I gotta say, it's very promising what we'll be getting within uh, within the, the next few months. So for uh, Japanese and Korean servers, we'll get by the end of June for this month. And then for Global and Asia, we'll get it within the end of July. So it's pretty cool knowing that we'll be getting a new story, new content, and so forth. So before we start, I'm gonna... If I, for those that don't watch it or haven't seen it yet, I'm going to play the animation trailer for it and then kind of skip through it, kind of tell you of like things on it, just to summarize it, just if you don't want to watch the whole stream of it. So let me just uh, remember what the time code is. It's right here. Okay. So we're going to play it. <laughs> That's the end of that uh, trailer there. Pretty, pretty amazing. Looks very nice. Uh, the art style of the characters, the designs look amazing. Although one of the characters that uh, are, is brand new to it uh, isn't shown within that trailer. Although there is an, an eye-popping one, as you can say. Double the plot, including that in that uh, trailer there. So let me uh, skip through and just kind of tell you. So it is an original story. Um, let's see. So the seven deadly sins are transported to the world of Norse mythology depicted in the books, resulting in a whole new adventure. In addition to unfolding a new story, never before seen heroes of Ragnarok will make a appearance to show you a bigger world. Kind of skip through it. Uh, so they're talking about the second anniversary. Kind of give information that this is going to kind of cut through it. Telling us that there's about 35 million uh, knights. Which is pretty nice. Uh, essentially they're, they're talking about that the development team has been working on this original series. Uh, before Grand Cross even began. So they already had this in the works. And 
essentially, you know, for those that were able to be patient, this is very uh, rewarding for this uh, this grandeur of uh, events here. So essentially, the story will consist of around 24 episodes. So essentially, it's going to have around 12 chapters. And it's going to take turns with uh, the main story every month. So uh, let me try to read this properly. It'll take turns releasing with the main story every month. So one month will be the main story. The second month will be Ragnarok. And then the following month will be the main story and so forth. So every, every, uh, every two months or every other month, a new story or new chapter of Ragnarok will come out. So that's pretty promising that with every month, you'll have content within the game. Um, let's see. I think we'll, we'll show the trailer of how the in-game looks. So let me just skip real quick of how it looks with the, every character in it. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, some of the in-game footage right there looks amazing. Looks very nice and clean, as it should, since the you know the animations for the game was a little bit better than than the animation for the anime for season. F uh, I guess I'm assuming si season three slash four, in, in the way you see it. Um, so the story goes. So they're kind of read it through. So it takes place. So they're, they're trying to make it conical. So it takes place uh, between Revival of the Commandments. So that's season 3. And the Wrath of the Gods, which is season 4. As, as you see it within the English version. And then Japanese would be season uh, 4 and season 5. I think that's how you see it. And so it involves Meliodas and the gang in a book about the legend of Yas Yogdrasel. Yggdrasil, hopefully I said that wrong. So Midgard of Yggdrasil is a world headed towards destruction due to a three year winter. Uh, basing the story on Midgard, Midgard and the end of the world, the journey unfolds for Meliodas and the gang in various Nordic worlds. This will be available to all nights starting with the upcoming updates. So they're informing. So it's a very uh, short story basically discussing that it's with uh, Norse uh, mythology. So this one is obviously they're discussing how so right here they're showing four characters they're, they've they already uh, kind of shown us who the four characters are and what their names are and you know who are they within this uh, story and with an addition they also said there's going to be uh, more than 20 new characters so far within the animation trailers and I'll put the link to this uh, this stream so you can like check out uh, and kind of point out in each one or you know you can rewind on this uh, video here uh, there's nine new characters that they've shown so far including these four so nine in total so, aside from these four, there's five more that they show within the, the trailer. So, it, it, it's a pretty good visual and understanding to know what new characters we're going to get. So, they pretty much go through it. So, and, of course, they say that um, every character is going to have a relationship between each character uh, within the Seven Deadly Sins. As you can tell so far... Um, with Sigurd, 
So Sigurd is connected to other characters within um, the story. So he's a prince of the powerful nation in Midgard called uh, Zantiberg and is the rightful owner of the legendary, legendary sword Gram. That's the sword he's, he's holding there. That's pretty good. Um, we have Fen, Fen, Fenrir is a werewolf dog or were, were beast boy. Sorry. Uh, let me skip through and go to the best the best uh, one that I'm uh, intrigued on is uh, Thornar. Thornar. Close to Thor, but Thornar. Brave, confident warrior. Uh, her overflowing sense of justice makes her act quickly when seeing people in need of help, but she also does not like to be noticed. I see it similar to Jericho, just saying. Uh, this has made her a mysterious, wandering uh, warrior shrouded in rumor. That's pretty nice. And then we got the car. The, the, <laughs> we have the guitar man, uh, Green Mirror. Um, of course, I'm assuming there's a story around him. And so the contents that they're gonna have, aside from the main story, which is gonna be those 12 chapters, uh, sub contents, which is gonna be a side story with uh, the guitar man green more and of course battles and the battles i believe they said co-op is going to be or try to be included within it so that's pretty nice oh so there's going to be new types of boss battles and co-op uh, gameplay content so that's pretty cool that there's going to be more uh, integrations with the, your teams or friends list and as well as the knighthood and then so that's so far those four characters that they released. Of course, there was five more in the animation trailer. And uh, let me uh, skip right ahead. Let's see. Roughly around where it is. So they, of course, have the Ragnarok special newsletter. Just to kind of give you updated on like every information on it. So it's like the Grand Cross Forum. But this one's for Ragnarok specifically. So that's pretty nice. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people will be registering for it. I mean, it's just uh, entering your email and pretty much you're set. And then the release dates, of course, they do talk about it. So let me back up a bit. So, of course, Japan will get it within uh, the end of June. And for Global and Asia, of course, late July. That's for the first chapter. And, of course, we're going to get these nice rewards. So essentially, we're gonna get a hundred. I believe it's a hundred diamonds. If I'm updating that right, let me just double check. Player, no, 皆様に次のプレゼントをお届けします。Okay, so it's a hundred diamonds. We get、uh, one SSR hero from Ragnarok, but they won't tell us which one it is. So essentially, it's not gonna be probably not gonna be one of those four. It's probably gonna be a newer one that they haven't released just yet. And a full set of costumes for one of the Ragnarok heroes. So I think what they mean is, if I'm reading this properly, <coughs> I'm sorry, one uh, hairpiece, one um, uh, weapon, and then、uh, the cosmetic, essentially. Or otherwise, you know, the full set, which would pr pretty. Be nice for anyone or for everybody, you know. Be fair, having all the costumes for one unit, which would be pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of it of like the review of Ragnarok. It looks very promising. So I'm sorry, it kind of took me a while to kind of get through this. I just wanted to make sure you know everybody's on page knowing about Ragnarok. Now, the thing I want to bring up attention for. Is what does it mean for the future of Grand Cross? So, essentially, knowing from that, so aside from the 24, so the four they release, and then there's going to be 20 more new characters or more than, there's going to be more original characters on the way aside from those. So, that's pretty nice to know. Of course, from that main story of Ragnarok, there's going to be possibly more original stories within Grand Cross. So, so far we've had the seven、uh, catastrophes, 
and now we had Ragnarok coming soon, so more stories can come through within uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Of course, what's promising is there's going to be more varied races of units. So, so far what I've noticed is there's going to be a uh, possible unknown, a uh, fairy race, human, and demon from, from some of the characters that were seen in the scenes. Um, that's pretty cool. There's going to be a, a variation of teams that you can run with every unit. That's pretty nice depending on, you know, what their uh, skill sets are and passives. Uh, the chances of having boosted rewards um, coming after that. So, as you saw, they're giving us 100 diamonds, one SSR unit, and a full set of costumes for one of the units. So, knowing that, there might be a chance where, you know, when they have the login specials or a special event... They're going to give an extra, extra sets of rewards, so that's pretty nice to know. And of course, the last thing is a possible merger for all servers. Since essentially they were kind of bringing up uh, information for all four of the servers of uh, Global, Asia, uh, Korean, and Japanese. Essentially, there's, there's this possibility of having it soon merged all together, all four of them, which would be nice. Although, you know, there is minor complaints of like, you know, rush content. Or rush banners for units and all and all sorts. So there is the quite divide, you know, whether should we catch up or should we not catch up. But that's pretty much it. I mean, we're still gonna be waiting for global, of course. Still waiting on the banner of Purgatory Bond and uh, Red Arthur of the new version. So should you summon on those? I mean. It all depends on the amount of diamonds you have. I mean, I would say Purgatory Bond is pretty good. Arthur does work well with him. So you should try. And maybe save for the new uh, original characters. I mean, so far, Thornar. I think that would be my, my waifu within the, the story so far. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh, just kind of... My attempt at summarizing, you know, most of uh, the stream of Ragnarok. So, hopefully this information helps you out. I'm sorry I took so long. You know, I was kind of caught off guard with knowing this came out yesterday. And I was kind of late on the, on the, my, you know, reaction towards it. But it, it, it was pretty amazing nonetheless. So, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video and it was very helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, personified.